it only seems like an odd way of approaching a serious subject if you think that the world makes sense in the first place. It's, it's Vera's book, really. I think really what I'm offering is a different kind of absurdism to the one that we live in anyway, in order to help us look closer. The first book was Scarpa's book, and, it, and it's, its beginning and end is, 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 is all Scarpa. It's a very existential kind of book in that sense that he's, he totally believes in the world that he's trapped in and its limitations. This one's Vera's book, and so it's from her point of view, so it does collide with the events from the previous book and we do get um, to have a continuation of the story eventually. Yeah, I just wanted it all to be incidental, you know, I just wanted all these peculiar uh, kind of cubist metaphors and analogies just wandering around in the background and getting on with their lives, you know. achieve with a bit of surrealism or absurdism or science fiction or any of these things that slightly bend the world that we're familiar with. So you take out the familiarity and you're just left with the world that we live in. Some kind of order out of chaos, you know.